right, things are getting juicy. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Welcome back to some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, man. Gonna be doing two more episodes today. I'm enjoying this series, and we're in the pocket right now of all this conspiracy that is going on and finding out new stuff about the world of the alchemy and the al alka history and all of these different stuff that is going on we little by little we're finding out what's really going on still a little bit fuzzy on what or who you know what i'm saying what or who um edward's dad is <laughs> you know what i'm saying um seems like he calls himself a monster and all of this other stuff like it's crazy to me and the mom knew so is he human is it is he on a homunculus and what happened you know what i'm saying is he like the creator of everything or something of the sort you know what i'm saying like what is his role in this entire story that's still yet to be seen or find out about it so i'm not gonna hold you guys up any longer i'm excited to jump in I will have a review after this and make sure you come back after the reaction to see it. Leave a like before you leave because you know these videos are fire, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Let me clap my hands like a like a gangster. You know, stop playing with me. Hit that like button. <laughs> Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, catch you guys for the review. Alright, so that was 7, 37 and 38. 37 and 38, man. Great episodes. Great episodes. Um, you know, on the scene with Scar. Scar and Winry. I think they're going to have a heart to heart. I don't think it's more necessary. I'm one. Uh, I think, yeah, you know I'm saying them not trusting Scar still is very warranted. For them not to he's a he's a he's still a wild card even though i know he's trying to do you know good things right now and still trying to find out he's one of them that's trying to find out the conspiracy like why did all my people have to die like that you know what i'm saying so there's i still have a little bit of soft spot for him because i do understand where he's coming from but at the same time like at first he was just a guy going out there for vengeance he's there's still that aspect of his character that's there because you see how he reacted to when, you know, he went up against um, the Crimson Al Alchemist. You know, um, I wonder what Command wants. Like, I think they're coming to inquiry about what happened to whatever his name is. Dude, that got um, molded into concrete. <laughs> join the foundation right so i'm looking forward to see of course what they're going to do with this because the story right now is is gearing up to you know what i'm saying we're at basically 40 episodes in so about think about i'm not I like a season's worth of episodes left so i'm looking for forward to seeing what they're going to do here because for that many episodes to go and still there's so many so much mystery still behind you know the story it's like what they're going to reveal next i mean it was a bombshell to find out that freaking this little ass boy is pride i wasn't even thinking that um they kind of threw us off the last time when we heard pride i think pride was talking to to wrath right so when pride was talking to wrath there was a bird like flying around or whatever i thought you know maybe pride could shape shift or whatever the situation it turns out that um it turns out that the son is freaking pride and he's the first homunculus like that was very surprising but i picked up on it because i was like and that's the reason why i tell you guys this this is the reason this is the very reason why you see i don't talk through animes and i don't talk through my reactions constantly if i do it's maybe because i'm like talking about something in a scene where i make sure that it's a scene that you know it's just like funny dialogue going on or but anytime there's informational stuff going on i'm 
paying attention to what is being said because anime and people who does really good writing like a story like this what they usually do is they'll put in hints and stuff that if you go back and watch the series you will pick up on these hints even quicker and be like oh i didn't even realize that but i caught what the mom said i caught what the mom said it was like oh he's our pride and i was like they made sure that the voice actress said that in such a way where i was like Mm, nah, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna catch me with that. I caught, I caught that. You know what I'm saying? I caught that when she said um, about pride, and I was like, ah, because. And then it was foreshadowed. What she said was foreshadowed by what um, Hawkeye felt when when he came into the room, and I was like, hmm trying to catch me that's why i had to i had to stop the video there because i was like yeah you're not gonna sneak that past me you know what i'm saying because pride was the only one we didn't know who was pride so now we've been introduced to all the seven deadly sins so we know we know all of them now who they are and you know we, we finally got to saw slot like three four episodes ago so we know who all of them is now so basically from what from what i um uh i was saying from before i think it was the last like i think it was like episode 30 review or something like that i was talking about you know who might be slot i'm saying he couldn't be slot because he wouldn't fit you get what i'm saying for who the father is so who is the father now because he's not one of them you get what I'm saying? He's not one of the 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 um the seven deadly sins, namely, right? He's not one of them. So is he really the creator of the homunculus? You get what I'm saying? Um, so he created pride first, as they say. So we'll see how things go. Um, is this little kid? So I I just don't understand. Is the kid growing? Because how long have they had? how long have they adopted this kid because it does because i mean if he's a homunculus he doesn't age so um bradley is the only one wrath is the only one that ages so he doesn't age so is he growing is he getting older you know what i'm saying how could they not notice that how comes the mom is not noticing that this kid is not growing so there's a lot of questions there's a lot of questions you know to be asked here but anyways guys um that is all my theories for today um winry and scar you know when um scar has winry i don't think she's in any danger because scar is not a cold-blooded killer you know at least not now before he was kind of like a cold-blooded killer you know using vengeance or god as an excuse to kill people that's not cool so um you know when all it is it's just him just on this path of kill my people i'm killing all y'all <laughs> you know what i'm saying just killing all the alchemists but you know it, it's i don't think he's that person anymore i think he's just on on the path to just want to know the truth at this point so i'm willing to give him i don't think he's not the type who's gonna kill winry so i'm not worried about her i think they're gonna finally get a heart to heart and to have a conversation about and then you know it's the usual stuff in anime you see it all the time and you and some of the times when it comes on to story writing there's no other way to really write something like this and i already know where kind of could tell you where that is going to go where we're probably going to end up seeing at some point before we finish um this anime you know before we finish this anime we're probably going to see her defending scar at some point is you get what i'm saying so that storyline i'm gonna enjoy watching it and see how they play it out of course i'm not saying that you know it's it's a bad thing i'm just saying that sometimes in stories there is a certain way that there's no other way to write a certain character you could write it don't get me wrong you could write it where winry completely hates her but she the character that we've been introduced to winry is a very forgiving person she she's just her character i just don't see her like 
completely like Hayden Scar. You get what I'm saying? Like, even though, and literally that's the best, probably one of the best lines in the show when he said to her, anything I say is going to sound like an excuse. So I'm not even going to bother trying to explain to you why I did this, which is not really true, but it's, I think he should say to her, listen, they were killing us. You get what I'm saying? Killing our people. And you know, I got mad. You know what I'm saying? You was upset and you know, you should own it. You should own it is what I'm trying to say. You should own it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. Um, I'm loving this anime. I'm loving the story and I appreciate y'all. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment and I will catch you guys later, man.